this will be a memorable month, no matter how hard you try to forget it. Yeah, Kause is just... I don't know how to integrate that best with ZSH, but there's got to be some way to make that work. But yeah, I'm just glad to develop free software and promote the cause and advance science, learning, the arts, etc. Really, I don't know. A lot of it's done through goodwill that I'm offering this stuff for free. Um, the Really, the only positive to me that comes of it, other than being able to do these things together, um, uh, so if you do contribute to open source software, you will get offers of various qualities for uh, jobs. Um, and probably most of the offers are ridiculous, but um, you do get attention that way, whether you want it or not. So there is some merit to this, but uh, what I'm doing is like almost completely unjustified. I guess. Um, uh, add my name, and then here we put the URL. Get remote set URL push my name, and then we grab the SSH URL, and there it is. Get status. No local changes. I've got a G or a C make stash. I don't really know or care what that is. Or Q makes stash. I don't know or care what that is at this point. Um, I've got a build script which might need the shebang operator. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, I don't have a build script in that project. Pop it over in uh, Leeches. Yeah. So let's put the shebang operator at the head of this file. Uh, so this rebuilds um, Qt chess using Qt 5.7. Uh, opt Qt. Do I still have opt Qt 5.7? I do. Is it still the version that Qt chess uses? Who knows? Uh, does this have dependencies? Oh yeah, 5.7 or greater. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, holy moly. Holy moly. I guess one thing I should be doing a better job of is promoting my own Discord. Um, so, like, I made a command for that. Uh, it's, a v in terms of my GitHub activity, it's extremely noisy. In terms of what I sometimes watch on YouTube or read articles other places or see funny pictures, like, I do share them in appropriate channels there. It's all categorized, um, so you can hide channels if you don't want to see them. Um, but yeah, my GitHub channel inside that Discord's pretty busy, and that's just me. Much of that's just me pulling from the Lee Chess project and putting that into my copy of uh, Lee Chess, which is just identical. I just prefer to have a copy of this just in case. Um, I mean, one, occasionally I do develop, um, and two, if something absolutely insane happens to the project, I'll have a copy and I'll be able to restore things. So, as does like every other developer. <laughs> but I'm being public about, hey, look, I've got this. <laughs> so. Uh, learning C++, because of chess AI programming. Yeah, uh, it's good to be excited about software development. Um, just make sure <laughs> you're excited for good reasons, too. Um, and that doesn't really make sense, because passion and excitement is something different than reason. But... Um, if you go into software development thinking, I'm going to be a game developer and do make games for a living, and I'm going to enjoy that, there are thousands of people who burn out doing just that. So odds are not in your favor there. All right, 
so let's see. Um, I've cloned this. Um, cute chess. All right, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna close my browser because it's not full screening correctly, but I don't need it open. He, I, I don't need it to be open anyway. Uh, fetch. So fetch will say that I'm probably like a thousand commits behind. Um, git log origin master shows one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, yeah, cute chest just keeps developing. Uh, oh, there was my, anyway. Um, git poll will get my local copy up to date to match what's in GitHub. Um, and we can see here's like all the things that they've changed since the last time I contributed, which was forever ago. Um, so what we're contributing or intending to try to contribute is just going to be a small fragment of what I recently did with Stockfish. I introduced two new variants with Stockfish, um, Relay Chess and Night Relay Chess. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm streaming from Windows, and my um, build system is uh, Ubuntu. Um, also, the website that I'm running a copy of um, is also in Ubuntu. So, like, that server out in the cloud um, hosts my website that you could play Relay Chess there. Um, it also hosts my chess bot that plays on Lee Chess all the time. Uh, mostly as an afterthought. I just wanted to have a way to be able to run Stockfish and have people challenge it. And um, um, if they defeat it, then I can see that there's a bug in Stockfish and I probably want to fix it. So. Um, wait, what? Add support for GitHub Actions. I'm not, apparently I'm not the only person on GitHub who does this. That's really cool. Nice. <laughs> I was gonna say I wanted to add this to the project, but also I don't have time to like try to fix this entire project to work well with that concept. But apparently, um, no, that got added already as of last month. That is cool. So I don't have to pester the maintainer about that. Um, all right, so this, I'm trying to reorient myself about how the heck this works. Um, so let's just take one of these files and see like its history. Um, which of these is probably the easiest to understand? Like grand chess, probably not because that's a big board. I don't know. What do I know? Um, Makruk is a game that we were just watching. Oh, placement board. What? Excuse me? Oh, um, I thought I'd contributed this to Cute Chess. Apparently not. Um, I must be thinking of something else, but yeah, okay. Um, so, support placement chess, aka pre-chess, Bronstein, Benko. So these three commits introduced, um, that variant into, um, uh, into the acute chess project. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me back up before I get too deep into code. So I added two variants to Stockfish. There were Knight Relay Chess and Relay Chess. Um, and so in doing so, I kind of violated one of the cardinal rules of software development that I'm starting to appreciate more and more, which is uh, do test-driven development. And when you're out developing a piece of software, and it's not satisfying um, some objective criteria, you're not doing it right. Um, so the objective criteria here 
I mean, yeah, I made this engine, you could play against it, it's all good and fun, but there's no reliable way to test the software right now because the library Qt chess that we use for all the stockfish testing uh, that's hosted by our German friend Fabian Fichter, um, that, uh, so that I say that's hosted, and this is using a software called. Okay, this is not cool. Let's try that again. Can maybe this full screen properly this time? That's better. It's like an F11. Yeah, so this is hosted at uh, variantfishtest.org. So this is hosted up, uh, um, however, your friend Fabi and Victor is doing that. Uh, he's hosting a software called Fish Test that on its back end is using Qt Chess um, to exercise all the tests. So, um, this is the software developed by a lot of enthusiasts um, that contains many of the same variants that you will find on PyChess.org. Um, so PyChess is also pretty cool. Um, and so they don't have, well, I'm sorry, I should point out one other thing. Um, oh goodness, why is that not in my search history? Uh, yeah, let's get there, Ian Fab. So he maintains a fork of stockfish called Fairy Stockfish that does not, uh, I really don't know to what degree this keeps up with what's in my fork. I think it's separate at this point. I think he comes up with a better way of maintaining this. It allows him to periodically um, merge from upstream branches when he needs or wants to. Um, yeah, that pie chest site works with this fairy stockfish. So this fairy stockfish does not... Um, it's not religiously kept in sync with my fork. And that's fine. Um, but he's not going to really be motivated to add these two new variants that I just added. Uh, where I said I'm adding night chess, or night relay and relay. Um, his motivation is going to be reduced if he doesn't have a way to test this. Um, and yeah, you could use the site here. Uh, pie chess for some testing, but um, really it's cute chess where we want some testing to be doable um, because this uh, testing unit also uses cute chess. So this is a repeatable way of testing things, and therefore this is what I want to do. Um, so I want to. <laughs> Oh, you always edit my source for 6x6 six six chess on an 8x8 eight eight board. Oh, well, that's exciting. Wow. Cool. Very nice. Um, so, placement board, I think, is an example of something I can try to follow. Because I kind of understand the rules of placement chess, even if it's very different from knight relay chess. Um, that's okay. Um, get diff. So we got a commit ID. Uh, so we'll say that tilde one versus that. And I'll show you what changed in the commit. So placement got added to help.txt to board.pry. Um, board factory CPP. Placement board. Uh, the board itself. Uh, placement board.h, TST board CPP. Okay, so six files had to change to implement the new placement variant. And that's not how it ultimately ended up. But then um, we could take a look at the other commits that were in this history. Um, so we'll take a look at the most recent. Um, I think we're going to be not seeing very much in this most recent commit. It's just the, oh, board scene 
I guess, hopple popple board. Apparently a lot of boards got changed with that commit. This didn't affect just one board. And the intermediate commit there, this one, um, that commit introduced stuff in a whole bunch of boards as well. So, all right. So if I want to add a new variant, um, I need to take a look at the first of these three comparisons and make sure I touch the right files. Uh, so I'm going to introduce Knight Relay Chess. And I think one or more of these might be generated from other files. I don't remember. Um, but I want to do something like this. So I guess I want to have this commit up in GitHub. Can I take a look at just this commit? And the history? No. Oh, I know how I can get there. Um, so we got the file name, right? Projects lib source board. Projects lib source board. And then from here we got placement board.cpp. So we can take a look at the history of this file in GitHub, which um, here's the commit. And I don't care so much about placement board, but I care about where all these files I gotta touch to make this possible. Um, all right, so let's start with docs. Uh, it's not a good place to start because docs doesn't compile anyway, probably. Help.txt, board.pry, um, board factory. Yeah, I'm starting to remember how this works. Projects lib source board. All right, let's projects lib source board. Which board <laughs> is going to cause me the least grief when I introduce a new variant? I don't know. Any interest in putting Relay Chess on Lee Chess? You will have to ask other Lee Chess developers. Um, uh, my own biases differ from others. Um, if I tell you no, then I'm not sure that I'm telling you the truth. Um, like, I'd like to see it, but. Um, I don't know. It's really complicated, and I wouldn't wish uh, the grief that I went through trying to implement Relay Chess. I wouldn't wish that on any other developer. Um, it's going to take some serious excitement out of another developer to say, yes, we want this and we want to support it. Um, especially because I don't have a test framework for what I did with Stockfish yet. <laughs> so. Maybe if we have a way to test what I did, maybe people will be far less nervous about it um, than if we approach them some other way. Um, but yeah, what do I know? Um, yes, yeah, so it depends. It is one big gray area. I'd like to see. I think it'd be fun. I mean, that's kind of like why I'm maintaining my own, again, hey, welcome. So like, there's my own site. Somebody else produced all the, and they've the author of that site has chosen to remain pseudonymous, which surprises me, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, they made a good site. None of us have maintained it. Um, it just stays up and running, and if I upgrade the server, it might fall over any day, and I'm okay with that. I could probably spend a little bit of effort to bring it back up if it did go down. If it becomes outrageously popular, I might have to acquire more resources for the server or ask somebody else if they want to host it. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
but yeah, I made uh, implemented in Stockfish uh, the new variant. So let's see. Uh, how about grid? Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's get a word count in lines of some of these files and see which of these looks the least scary to copy. Um, so there's grid. Um, oh, there's king of the hill. Yeah, king of the hill is really simple. Let's copy that one. Um, okay. Copy king of the hill board dot cpp um, knight relay board dot cpp copy king of the hill board dot h knight relay board h was there a knight thing here already? There's a knight mate. Okay. Um, knight relay board. We're gonna take a look at these. King of the Hill Knight Relay. Okay. Um, what else is there? So this is in various cases here. Um, King of the Hill Board, Knight Relay Board. I could probably make a said script, but I'd probably also mess it up. So we're just going to do this manually of the hill. All right, so is there a hill in here somewhere? No, OK, we got rid of hill in this file. Um, OK, board for night relay chess. Uh, da, da, da. We'll fix the rest of that later, but are there other hills in here? Is there another lowercase hill in here? No. Okay. Um, okay. So <laughs> that was the easy part, and I still didn't get that right. Uh, King of the Hill board, H, Knight, Relay, Board underscore h there we go three substitutions all right and we want to copyright this appropriately 20 2008 to 2020 and 2020 over here there we go good enough um well that was the easy part <laughs> um Let's see. Can I ask a very off-topic question? Give it a shot. Do you use Phantom Bot? Do I use Phantom Bot's currency, and does it work for me? Uh, currently, I'm not using Phantom Bot's currency system. Um, let's see. I use Phantom Bot to help moderate this channel, but I currently don't have any currency-based systems in the channel, so. Um, I'm not currently using it. Um, or rather, the only currency-based system I have in this channel is the one that I get through the Twitch platform, which I'm really not doing a whole lot with either. But yeah, good question. I know I am kind of religious about keeping that up, uh, the Phantom Bot up to date in my channel. Um, I just think it's important to use free software, and Phantom Bot's pretty cool. Um, so uh, I know some people use Nightbot or other bots, but I want something that I can install, that I have, can have a copy of the source code and control if I need to. Um, so uh, likewise, uh, I meant to have open source chatty open here so the text would show on the stream so you'd be able to see what everybody's chatting. Um, so I use OBS and chatty and open source utilities in general. Um, yeah, free software is pretty cool. Um, 
Yeah, use Phantom Bot and love it, but you can't get the currency to work. Uh, sounds like music. Yeah, so a lot of people rely on closed source software, and it works most of the time, except when it doesn't. Uh, with open source, you'll generally know upfront when it doesn't work, and there might be some documentation or Google or Stack Overflow or Stack Exchange available to help you with that. Um, so, oh, yeah, here's another thing. Oh, yeah, no, I did correctly name that Night Relay. So there, yeah, the reference to Hill is gone here. Um, so that was the easy part. The hard part, <laughs> oh my god, the hard part is going to be um, implementing all the funky moves for the pieces that are attacked by knights. Not looking forward to that. Uh, so can I take a look at a different board perhaps, like Grand Chess? Grand board that's CP. How do they do this? Default fen string has castling, pawn move offset, generate moves for peace. There we go. So that's going to be the thing I have to override. Um, so generate moves for peace is legal move. Are those the two things I gotta implement? Is that it? I think so. Right, four, so we're gonna grab that out of grand chess and stick that into um, knight relay board h. Those are the only two things that I should need to override. And I don't need central squares. I don't need that. I don't need to override result um, copy. I mean, it does inherit from standard board. Wait, how did they implement that here? So in grand chess, grand board. Yeah, they didn't need. Oh, I'm sorry. They did need a copy thing for the constructor. Uh, and this extends from Capablanca board. Uh, that's cool. Um, not really, but let's pretend it is for a second. Can I take a look at what board? They got Sierra Wanchess here, right? Yeah. So Sierra Wanchess is pretty simple. Okay, so it's probably where I should have started. Um, so this extends Western board. Why did I not just do that? What did I copy from again? I copied from King of the Hill board. Why does King of the Hill board not extend from Western board? Oh. I'm sorry, because it uses all the standard pieces. It can just use a standard board, which extends Western board. So I don't need to extend Western board. Um, OK, uh, let's take a look at crazy house board that H. This also extends Western board, even though it only uses the standard pieces. Um, OK. So yeah, King of the Hill board was a very fortuitous choice. Yeah, it does extend standard board. So yeah, I'm doing the right thing here with knight relay board at H. Um, so we got copy, we've got variant. Now King of the Hill board, um, this didn't override variant, did it? Oh, it did. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think all the variants do. So that's fine. Um, so other stuff I can get rid of in here. There was some mention of some constants. Oh, that's no longer in here. 
so to do uh, to do actually that might be fine night relay board uses polyglot zobris position types etc um, I don't know that I care about that standard chess rules um, were they so explicit with the rules and all these other things like losers or how deep did this go yeah so something like this one two three four five six seven yank seven lines and drop them into night relay board and there we go and we're gonna have to find a copy of the rules somewhere but um, let's see duh, is there a copy of said um, uh, night relay chess is that oh wow chess set of work uh, by this domain oh uh, that's not good Got a different problem on our hands there. Knight relay chess. Knight relay chess. So this is one source of truth. But I could have sworn there's n relay chess on chess variants. I don't want that site. There's a chess variants wiki out there somewhere. Um, Have sworn there's a Wikipedia called the Chess Variants Wiki. Yeah, this is the one I'd prefer to use if it has an explanation for my variant relay. Uh, that's not good. All right. Well, so they don't have Knight Relay Chess. Um, let's see. I mean, they have a list of the variants. That's too bad. Um, at least I can't find it here. There's a whole bunch of variants, but not the one I'm looking for. So I guess we're stuck with Wikipedia as opposed to some other site. And of course, other sites could get sold, so. Uh, to do, we'll figure that out. Um, uh, is this the fairy stockfish? Actually, this is cute chess. This is the thing that fairy stockfish uh, uses for its nightly testing or daily testing. Um, oh, so yeah, let me take a look at king of the hill board at cpp see how i'm sorry that's not a good example let me take a look at uh, another board that extends the same ancestor class the ancestor class being standard board. so what classes do that anti-board i guess anti-board does that anti-board at cpp uh test key zero can capture false see i'm confused by this initialization during constructor thing um i should just grep this across the cpp files and see can somebody show me a usage of a standard board that doesn't require all kinds of crazy initialization. Yes, I don't have to have an initializer list to do inheritance with this library. Um, so let's go back to night relay board .cpp. And we don't need this initializer list, nor do we need that. And I don't know if I have to do anything in its constructor either. Um, 
I guess if there's things to initialize, this would be the place to do it. But I don't know that I need that. So I might not even need to declare an explicit constructor. But there's no harm in it. Um, yeah. Oh. And if I want to copy, this is the copy constructor. It returns a board. Um, yes, I did mutate the copy constructor appropriately. That's fine. Um, no, I don't want to override result. What I do want to override is the move generation aspect. Um, which, uh, yeah, generate moves for peace. So, well, that's a lot of functions. That's a lot of function definitions. Generate moves for peace. Let's take a look at crazy house board. Uh, dot CPP. Because it uses the standard piece set. Um, so, oops. Generate moves. All right. Uh, let's yank the entirety of this file. Only 28 lines after that. Huh. Weird. Okay. There's something else about validate the legality of a move. We'll get to that. Uh, all right, relay board. Let's skip to the end of the file. Paste the 28 lines that we yanked from the other file. Get rid of the end of namespace here. Get rid of the result and king and center implementations. And instead of doing what we're doing here, if zero and if, I'm going to say we're going to skip all that and put in our own implementation. Um, let's see, what more is there? I mean, I could start by just saying do the default rule set. That's probably a decent start, but. Um, if there are knights on the board, we need to do something else. Um, so, wasn't there something about, is this move legal somewhere? I thought there was a move legality check declared somewhere. Sand move, move from sand, v make move, v undo move. Apparently not. Um, I'm not sure where I ended up with this other V is legal move from, but glad I found it. Um, all right. Let's take the declaration of V is anti or is legal move from here. So 108. Up through 78, so that's 31 lines. Just gonna drop that in my file and see what it looks like. Um, so V is legal move. I guess we'll alphabetize our methods for lack of a better way to categorize them. Um, and again, do our whole if zero thing to comment out everything. Um, so let's see what else is there here. Um, return Western board. Um, v is legal move. Uh, given a move. All right. So that might compile, maybe. Um, what more is there to do here? So we wanted to look at where we started this from. This, there are six files that have to be touched to add a new variant to Qt Chess. There's placement board, placement CPP, the test class, but can I get things to compile first? Uh, so to compile, 
maybe just adding the reference in board factory might be enough. Um, so I'm in directory board. Um, board factory dot cp. Um, so I've got to add my night thing. Night mate. Night relay board. Um, okay. Uh, night mate. Okay, we're going to register night relay board. Relay. So we've added that. Let's see what more. Board.pri. Don't recall what this is about. But there's a thing for night mate. So we need a night relay, and we need the night relay header file. Uh, that'll do. Um, okay, let's go up to docs cute chest CLI. Um, Still up a level. All right. Uh, lib projects. So we still want to go up a level. Vim docs cute chest CLI six. Night mate. Okay. Yank two. Relay, uh, night relay. Chess, apparently, we stick toward the end of all these, so we'll just put chess on that. Is there a hyphen in this? Yeah, there's hyphens in the file, so it can handle hyphen there, probably. Um, okay, and then I want to add to this file. Copy vim this night mate uh, night relay night relay chess get status um, okay get checkout branch name night relay do they generally use hyphens in their branch names do they have a naming convention to their branches they sometimes use hyphens they sometimes use underscores that's exciting if they one time use a hyphen they uh, twice used it um yeah i guess they've wisened up and they understand that i'm sorry they most of the time use hyphens so yeah, we're going to use a hyphen. Uh, get add uh, docs projects status. Cool. Um, so when they added this support placement chess. OK. I guess in general, like, what do their comments look like for adding Variants. So docs cute chest CLI six. If I dive into docs cute chest CLI six, how do they generally format their comments? Support. Okay. Uh, yep. Commit message. Support. Night relay chess. Work in progress. All right, spiffy. Um, mission accomplished. Not really. Uh, push to my branch. And I didn't even test that this compiled. I just pushed it to GitHub. That's pretty great. Uh, how do you compile this thing again? I have a build script. Does it still work? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll find out. GitHub will tell me if I've fucked up. 
uh, yeah, that's the beauty of this new thing they introduced on GitHub called GitHub Actions is that uh, it's a workflow um, for initiating builds every time commits are pushed. Workflows aren't being run on the forked repository. Because it contains workflow files when it was forked, we've disabled them from running on this fork. Make sure you understand the contained workflows and expected usage. <sighs> this isn't uploading to some other site, right? Am I breaking somebody else's thing by running this? That's my concern. My guess is I'm probably fine and this doesn't upload a thing to anywhere. But if there are credentials hidden somewhere and this does upload stuff, I'll be upset. Hmm. 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 Um. So what? Do I search for like AWS or something? Like, how do I know if this? I guess to know if this pushes, I want to take a look at historically has this pushed anything in the last twenty days? Windows latest. It's a build, run tests. Post actions, check out v2 and complete job. Post job cleanup, extra header, complete job, cleaning up orphan processes. 512.7. So please tell me that this doesn't upload anything to anywhere and nobody's going to get mad at me for. Yeah. Um, okay, when this person did their thing. This commit uses GitHub Actions to build and test. Uh, following Qt versions are used. Plans to eventually phase out AppBear and Travis. Okay. Okay. So I see, I see. Yeah, this looks fine. Go ahead and run them. Um, so this probably didn't pick up the commit that I just pushed. But also, like, maybe the workflow file only works on the master branch. Um, so I guess to figure that out, we have to go in the workflows directory, see if this is building on every branch or just master. Um, so on push or this, I don't see any... Is there a requirement here that this be done on master? No. Um, all right. Uh, wait, what? Oh, my local build failed. Okay, forget that. Um, I'm disappointed that, um, you have to repush this. And then reset off for to now. Get push F. Can we try that again? And maybe actions can pick it up this time or ask me if I want to do a thing. Pretty please. Okay. All workflows. Oh, there it is. That's better. Hopefully I haven't doubled the amount of work by doing an extra push. 11 seconds ago. All right, cool. So this is going to produce all the same errors that we just saw a second ago and many more. Um, but chances are my build script doesn't work at all, so that's a thing. Um, all right. So we're, we've got the test to test the tests that are going to test the other tests. Not really, but I don't like to think that this is fairly complicated what I'm dealing with. Um, so... Let's pick out Ubuntu, because that's most similar. In fact, we've got Ubuntu latest version of Ubuntu running with the Qt 5.12, so this is most similar to my build environment. And instead of glancing at this log, the more efficient way for me to look at this would be to look at the workflow file directly. Um, 
So I am at cute chess uh, clear. Let's take a look at get hub workflows build.yml. Uh, Ubuntu latest. Oh, well, this runs the same things for every uh, configuration in its matrix. Okay, fair enough. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I don't know like how this works. Um, it just runs the things that are here, but so on push or build request Ubuntu latest install Qt build cute chess run unit tests. All right, so QMake then make is all you have to do to build the thing. So I'm betting my build script is overly complicated compared to that. Um, does it have to change directory before doing any of that or just QMake and make? And that's it. So I can just here uh, status to see like where I'm looking at. Let's get rid of QMake stash. Uh, how is my build thing overcomplicated at this point? Just remove stuff. QMake config release. QMake job one strip. Yeah, okay. If I just type QMake, might that work? Um, cannot build with version 487. Oh, right. Uh, so my QMake is located off here. So QMake. Uh, okay. Make. Does that work? Um, okay, good. So got through compilation and things failed the way we expected them to fail. So that's spiffy. Um, with no trivial copy assignment, use copy assignment or copy initialization instead. That's just a warning. It's saying you did something dumb and will allow you to do it, but that's not the way to go. Um, let's see. Or do I have all warnings converted to errors, in which case I'll need to fix that right away. Um, Good gravy. Yeah, I don't know what I did. Crazy house board has not been declared. So that's concerning. Uh, wait, why is crazy house board declared in a file called night board? Or night relay board? Uh, projects. Projects, something source is where night relay board's located, right? Um, so here's what I checked in. Can I take a look at the commit? Okay, so projects, lib source, uh, lib, there we go. Okay, so there's the reference to Crazy House Board. Um, and we want that to be Night Relay. Okay, is there anything else I did equally stupid? Yeah, instead of Anti Board, uh, we want Night Relay Board. Okay. Project lib source git commit amend set author um, make better chance of success this time I guess well we got stuff locally compiling. And this is the argument for me pushing my changes to GitHub and seeing the failures happen uh, up on GitHub first. 
But yeah, look, we had a failed build here, and I don't know if the rest of these should have triggered or not. I assume not, I don't know. I am amused. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, all these other things skipped because this one failed. I don't even... Yeah. Uh, Night Relay. Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Just take me back to, yeah, here. So I have the red X. That's all I cared about is, did this work or not? Because I'm pretty sure if there are errors, I can replicate them locally. Uh, so next time I will push my changes to GitHub before building them locally, I guess. If I think they'll work. I didn't think this would work, so... I didn't think this would get anywhere near as far as it has gotten. Um, so sorting through these logs in this way is going to be challenging. Um, I guess that gives me a minute to go plug my RelayChess site that I'm hosting. RelayChess.moo.com with three O's. So yeah, this site's out there and up and running and stuff. Uh, you can log in with LeeChess and um, this is using the OAuth 2 workflow. Um, I had to configure up in LeeChess where I said like here's my app. Um, it's got a unique secret or token or something. Um, so uh, it authenticates with my site. Uh, I was able to get help from Tebow <laughs> getting um, that site authenticating with LeeChess because uh, he was interested in having a first application that used his OAuth workflow. And I said, hey, I've got this site. I've inherited this code. I'm, I'll keep it up and running, and we can use that. And um, I did the best I could to try to get things working, but I ultimately needed his help to work through some details with Angular, because I had not worked with Angular before. Um, so this has taken a while. And at the end of all this, we're going to get a message probably saying, hey, this all compiled, but um, leaves something to be desired, because like this is the work in progress. Uh, come on. On GitHub, well, I'm sorry, the failure happened on GitHub much faster. This is, does remind me of how long it took to build the project last time. And there's no easy way to take this project and decompose it into smaller projects, but also this has about two or three times as many variants as it had the last time I tried to compile this, so that's going to take a minute. I'm glad that there are logs, so if something goes wrong, there will be a log to sift through. It will be possible to answer whatever questions come up. Um, it's one thing that's kind of lacking in other build platforms. It's an easy way to audit errors that happen or warnings. and If all the warnings go ignored, eventually an error will crop up because somebody's going to make a mistake. But um, Come on. That's a lot of files. That's a lot of a lot of files. I don't know that I needed to build this for every possible configuration. I would be plenty happy to just build the command line version of this. Okay. It compiled. It stopped building. Push F. Let's push that up to GitHub and let that spin for a minute. Um, yeah, I didn't really need to verify locally that it compiles. So I don't need to watch that spin either. Uh, it's just important that something is churning. Alright, git diff. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't need the git diff perspective here either. Because I can look at my commit and see what files I changed. 
and I can go over to the files that changed. So the only ones that I'm going to need to fix potentially are the header file, which I think I declared the correct functions in. Um, and less interestingly, <laughs> or I don't know, uh, less I'm looking forward to this Lee uh, night relay board. That's be So uh, CD projects lib uh, source board. Oh, that's as far as I have to go. Night relay. Uh, All right, so this here has a concept of is this move legal? Given an already generated move, verify the legality of the move. Oh, hang on. So this library is not doing anything totally insane in terms of move generation. Um, in night relay chess, we might as well look at the rules now, eh? So, um, kind of glossed over that at the beginning of this. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the night relay chess rules. So, night relay chess, also called n relay chess, is uh, ew. Yeah, you know, my Wikipedia style is causing some glitches here. Uh, it's invented by Manus Sharosh in 1972. In this game, knights relay their power to friendly pieces. So the notion here is that any piece defended by a friendly knight gains the power of the knight, except the king does not. The piece loses the additional power as soon as a friendly knight no longer defends it. Knights are immune from capture, cannot capture enemy pieces, and so they cannot give check. Um, well, okay, so I do have a need to uh, validate move legality because knights cannot be captured. Um, pawns may not move to the first or last rank by a knight a relayed knight move. If a pawn is relayed to its initial rank, wait, what? May not move to the first or last rank by a relayed knight move. Um, any piece defended by a friendly knight. Well, I'm not happy to discover that. Because, yeah, that kind of changes the rules of the game on me. I need to, this is why test-driven development is so valuable. So I implemented a variant in Stockfish that is not Night Relay Chess, and I called it Night Relay Chess. That's great. Um, so knights are immune from capture, cannot capture, and therefore a knight itself cannot give check. Uh, knights may not or pawns may not move to the first or last rank by a relayed knight move. If a pawn is relayed to its initial rank, um, it regains the option to make a double step move. So its initial rank is the second rank, not the first rank. Um, there is no opposite in knight relay chess. Pawns can promote to knights, and the promoted knights also have relay power. Okay, that's a lot to take in. Um, so, yeah, I should have read that before going and making my own thing. Uh, yeah, you think that's hard? You should see the relay chess variant that I made. It's like that on steroids. Um, but with relay chess, at least you have the ability to take stuff. So knights cannot give check. That's an interesting twist. Um, so the diagram shows most or shows moves of the white pawn on e6. So the white pawn on e6 defended by the knight 
can take on c5 or f4 or g5 uh, or even g7 or c7. Um, I might need to, whoops, um, I might need to hide my Wikipedia style thing because it's breaking uh, the diagram. But yeah, here this pawn has the ability to go to any of the marked squares with the X, as well as its normal move and normal capture capability. Um, so this indicates all the possible moves of that pawn. See, so yeah, that's complicated. Um, but also, um, now I recognize that capturing a knight is illegal. So I'm going to have to fix that in my stockfish thing. And this is going to help me test um, stockfish to see that I implemented that correctly. <laughs> this being cute chess. Um, so that's cool. Not really. Uh, so we need to give this a description. I don't suppose that Wikipedia has a shortened description of this. That, like, there's no simple dot Wikipedia org for this, right? Yeah. It's a variant invented by Mishrash in this. Um, can I find a succinct description of this elsewhere, perhaps? Because that description's really long out, drawn out and wordy and stuff. Um, the rules are in effect, etc., etc. But this doesn't really say. Uh, it's not a good short description of that. Knight relay chess over here. Everybody's just stealing the same definition and copying it around everywhere. It's not cool. Uh, it has an external reference to N relay chess over here. Uh, Brain King. Yes, everybody just takes the same damn description. It's all copied everywhere. And I'm trying to do the same thing, but um, whatever. All right, so night relay um, how do I like take this description and turn it into that sort of thing oh I know I have an idea we're going to go to my rules, official rules of relay chess. So this is not a good summary either. I'm displeased. <laughs> um, um, is, can I look at some other description? Crazyhouseboard.h for ideas. We're okay, so we're gonna take the same kind of structure. So knight relay is a variant of standard chess where friendly pieces uh, defended. I don't know, defended, protected, what's the word that we use everywhere else? Um, defended, all right. Defended, or right, let's, or pieces, um, defended by a friendly knight. Uh, what's the word that we used? Gain the power of a knight. Knights cannot ch 
check cannot capture or check or be captured. There we go. Simple. Um, pawns cannot be relayed to the first or last rank. That's pretty succinct, I think. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to say about that. Um, oops, uh, um, night relay board .cpp. Uh, let's see. Oh, hang on. If this generally is not considered a legal move, it is illegal. Um, what more is there to consider, really? So, let's see. Knight relay board, standard board. Does this extends standard board? It doesn't. Our standard board extends western board. So, uh, what more can I say? Return false is not good, but let's. Uh, <laughs> How do I check if the move would capture a knight? Um, yeah, so this appears to be some expression that checks. Um, Return capture type of move is not equal to knight, I guess. And that'll take care of almost everything validation related. Um, I mean, yeah, there's more to do here. To do pawns cannot be relayed to the first or last ranks. Okay. The, we got the to-do there. We're not going to forget the to-do. Um, all right. Um, status, get add this directory, get commit, and then reset author, get push, Push that up to GitHub. Uh, that's not going to work. Git push set upstream night relay. So this is going to reject on account of um, I'm doing a force push, but there we go. All right, so how did our last build proceed? Okay, last time around things compiled. Um, so official rules of relay chess there. Um, wow, I've got this night relay chess thing open twice because it's that exciting. I figured out which files I have to update. Okay, we got some notifications at GitHub. Let's see, what are they fixing? Discover check in future uh, top chen chess engine competition Sufi submissions. Uh, it was agreed here to have a volunteer submit stockfish binaries to TCEC. Uh, it's a team project. Wait, what? Uh, it's a team project. Opening this issue to confirm the above, not only was a modified, poorly tested SF submitted, but it contained a bug as a direct result of the submitter's modification. It was lucky it was mostly harmless. Uh, oh, goodness. 
I'm not interested in this conversation. Maintainers are. We're going to nope out of that. Um, so let's see. We'll keep this fork open. We've already looked at the rules here. We might forget the rules and have to come back to it. If we do, let's turn our dark style back on so this is less spooky. Um, Uh, you did a rugby chess. Nice. That's chess on a 6x6 six six board. Um, on a normal board, but without the edges being used. And you could win by getting your king to the other side, or by checkmate. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I wonder. Because, uh, like, like you say, it's done on an 8x8 board, but it only uses the 6x6 in the center. I wonder if uh, the fairy stockfish author and or cute chess and or pie chess might be interested in your variant. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, I've only heard of soccer chess, and soccer chess looked cool, but I've never played it and probably never will because there's no software to support it and looks like a pain to implement and might not even be fun once implemented so all right this crapped out because of something <laughs> build cute chess failed because i did something bad well i expected this to compile oh there's no member called uh knight in chess piece that would do it um Knight. Uh, that's not great. Okay, we'll take a look for no piece. I don't know. So, first of all, I want to grep for the word knight. No piece well, clear. I have too much feedback here. This is still too much, but it seems to indicate that. Um, how do I check if the piece piece type is not equal to knight? So instead of saying chess knight, I just say knight. How does that even work? Um, Let's take a look at grand board. Okay, this just namespace chess. Plus, I'm already in the chess namespace, so why am I doing chess no piece or chess knight or piece knight? Um, right. Uh, let's go back into knight relay board CPP. <sighs> Here, where I said piece knight. That's not what it's called, it's just called knight. Uh, add knight relay board, get commit command. Uh, get push, force push that up. And maybe it'll compile this time. Again, I'd rather have this spin up on here while I try to do something more. Um, Let's see. Yeah, to do pawns cannot be relayed to first or last rank. Um, oh, so there's the fork. Big integer. Um, nice. Very cool. Six by six rugby. It's a modified version of the official Stockfish engine. Uh, from my chess variant on a 6x6 board, etc. Nice. It's got five commits. Um, interesting. And files via upload seems to be the big one. Um, 
one. Yeah, if I go through the most recent and then back one and then back one again and back one again. Just making sure. Yeah, add files via upload is the one that had all the interesting stuff in. Ah. I see. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. There's definitely a learning curve to using Git and GitHub. <laughs> uh, very nice. Yeah, I, I get it. Like, even at work, convincing people to properly use Git is um, like pulling teeth. Yeah. It's a lot easier to just develop things and then figure out how to get add Git in afterward. Yeah. Now that's cool. That's really nice that you uploaded it. Because since you uploaded it, other people can now see and offer suggestions or uh, they can also take what you uploaded and they can modify it. So well, that's really cool. Um, yeah, very nice. Uh, how's my thing doing? Everybody starts somewhere and so with this I'm starting... Okay, how'd I break it this time? <laughs> Uh, oh, right, it's the other thing I did that was dumb. I returned capture type of moves index i is not equal to night. Goodness, I can't read when I'm typing, can I? There is no moves index i, there's just move. All right, maybe I can read this time. Um... Try that again. Push that. Yeah. Yeah, Vim. I don't know if I can make a pitch for Vim. Um, but using some... Well, it depends. Uh, and not regarding Vim, but using Git and learning best practices with software development. It really depends what your goal is. If your goal is to do something uh, eventually someday in a larger scope to do a lot more with the software development thing um, yeah learning tools like git uh, will help you um, share your work with other people and incorporate their changes into your work as well so in a way it's humbling for me like um, one thing that confused me for the longest time is that there's all these online bots on Leeches, and basically mine is the only one that gives a URL of where you can download the source code. I couldn't figure out why there are like 51 online bots and most developers don't share their source code. And it's humbling for me and now I understand that like Figuring out how to upload your source code so other people can use it, but also not give away like your username or password or credentials or whatever else, um, takes some discipline and requires tools that most people probably aren't aware of how they work. So that's probably why there are 51 online bots. I mean, honestly, half of these are probably Stockfish or Leela, but the other half, ones that people have put some effort in on their own, um, they probably just don't understand how to share their source code. They might not understand like what CVS or Mercurial or other stuff are. So um, that's probably why it's hard to find other people's source code. Oh, here's one. Uh, but this is again Leela. Like uh, Bodios, it's, I remember well, okay, like here somebody gives a Google URL where you can get more info. I think I've been there before. Um, Phalanx. Yes, this is a really strong engine, I think. Um, so if I go over and look at Phalanx, yeah, there's a chess programming wiki. Phalanx is dead, question mark. And external references. 
Here's its results. Yeah, you could go over to SourceForge to get this one. Although I don't know if this includes source code or not. I mean, it's called SourceForge, you would think so. Um, but yeah, many of these don't mention where you can get the source. And when those that do play against my bot, I tend to look at their source and see like um, if there's some idea I can borrow from what they're doing. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Quick bot using leeches bot. Oh yeah. Um, I forget what this. I feel terribly stupid for forgetting. But is this the one that's written in Go? Yeah, this is the one. I use this. Um, this is the Go-based API. Um, they happen to use the official Stockfish instead of mine, but this is just a proof of concept like that their Go thing works, and I use the Go thing too because it's a lot less code. I don't have to worry about Python. And I don't have to answer questions about how the Python bot thing works because I don't use it. Uh, here's a fun one that just does a matrix multiplication to come up with the best move. Um, it's sometimes wrong. It's pretty funny. Uh, why am I not following this thing? Just to think you can multiply two numbers together, two mul numbers of really weird dimensions, but you can just multiply things together. Um, and you come up with the move. And like with that methodology, you could actually win some games. That's pretty funny. Um, let's see. Oh, you had a modified version of TSCP and Ethereal and made a local tournament rating site. Local tournament ratings. That's nice. I know one thing that's come up. Uh, there's been ridiculous demand for being able to run custom tournaments like Swiss on Lee Chess. And while Lee Chess themselves aren't going to implement this, um, one thing they're kind of lacking would be some external pairing bot that could do all the pairings, all the form registration, all the notify all the players that got to go play each other. And like, there's a ton of work involved there, but um, maybe someday. Uh, they'll have better libraries out there. Oh, dang it, I've got to fix my thing. Um, yeah, I see the link. I've got to fix my total, my phantom bot thing here. 6x6.php. Nice. Beautiful. Um... Yeah, let me see. <sighs> yeah, but you're a developer and you know what you're doing. So I need to figure out how in Phantom Bot uh, to add you to the list of people that it doesn't censor. Um, I need to figure that out. Hopefully there's a quick answer. Phantom Bot allowed URLs, whitelist URL, yeah, that's not it, um, okay, yeah, I could whitelist Twitter, but that's not it, I want to, oh, the Twitch command list for Phantom Bot, okay, I know for a different bot, like Nightbot or something. Um, aye, aye, aye. Oh, that's right. So the there's a command to get all the commands. Oh, Chess Stars Calculator. Nice. I don't know why you... Like, there's a library out there to do things like this, but okay. Uh, I don't see a license on it yet, but I'll be glad to watch the project. Um, Main.cpp. Okay, yeah, that's cool. 
Total sum all ratings played against. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Definitely um, a useful project. Calculating things your own way, and that's cool too. Oh, I know what I could do. I could follow you to. Um, got, you got 12 repos. Yeah, I could just uh, follow you as a user on GitHub, and that way I can keep track of what's going on. Um, yeah, and our local. Uh, we have a city or statewide. No, we have a Chicago and suburbs of Chicago uh, league that where a whole bunch of teams from industry and uh, other places will play uh, just for fun. And we have our own like rating system and stuff like that, um, which is debated ad nauseum, but really we need to build up our tools to make it easier to play generally around this time of year we'd have a playoff but <laughs> uh you know like we haven't been able to meet nobody's been able to play over the board chess lately um so yeah i wrote code that compiles now that's cool um but yeah at some point we might build a better tooling and it might take a long time um, and probably the Illinois high schools are going to beat us to something like that because like Illinois has a hundred schools that have chess teams and they too have not been able to play because of the whole situation. I'm not sure if they had a tournament at the end of this year or not. Um, they're not having it now, but I'm not sure if they had one planned or if it already finished. Ah. Uh... So much to consider. So pawns cannot be relayed to the first or last ranks. Um, so, standard board, V is legal move. So that's going to handle more than it should, really. Um, const move move. Um, mm -mm. Wait, I have this backwards, don't I? Yes, I want by default it should return um, by default is this a legal move. And I want to have ahead of that if the capture type is a knight uh, parenthesis return false um, but also I need to have something in here about like how pawns can be relayed um, um, to do um, pawns and pieces can be relayed so those are two to the two to do's there. Um, now let me check V is legal move up in the standard board ancestor. Um, is legal. All right, is that defined here? Nope. Then Western board dot cpp. V is legal, is legal. Here's the definition of it, is legal. If, if the king can capture, or if it cannot capture, and the source square is equal to a king. Yeah, this is probably a bad name of a variable. Um, but yeah, it's saying, if king can capture, it's false and the source square is equal to the king square of the side to move and the capture type is equal to no, or it's not equal to no piece um, 
I guess there's some variants where you can't use the king to capture that are considered Western chess variants. What would that even be? I don't know, but I don't need to worry about that. And there's board is legal move, which um, checks make move, check if the position's legal, and if it is not a legal position, undo the move. So it's not going to constrain moves just because the type of the move looks weird. Um, uh, okay. Uh, so yeah, this implementation might just go up here instead. Pawns and pieces can be relayed. Pawns cannot be relayed to the first or last ranks. Um, so, um, I've got to think a little bit more. So, so, so. Yeah, my brain is kind of melting here. Um, can I look at Western board and see how it implements generate legal moves? Or generate moves. Oh, that's interesting. So there's a generate legal moves concept, and then there or generate moves for peace. Uh, moves for peace. All right. Generate pawn moves. Generate hopping moves. <laughs> what? Okay. You got my curiosity now. Bishop offsets. Wow. Okay, that's pretty special. Um, but yeah, this is additive, isn't it? If peace has movement, peace type and knight movement, that's actually the thing I want to override here. Um... Because I'm exclusively overriding. Uh, no, not that. Piece has movement. Return. Um, piece data dot movement and movement. So this. Oh, but this doesn't tell you about like where the piece is located on the board. It's, it accepts a piece type and a movement, not a particular instance of a piece. Hmm. Well, I could assert that by default, every piece can move like a knight, and then I can restrict in some cases, say that they can't. I could do that. Um, and I might have to do that. Wait, it's piece data, piece type. Yeah, I'm not going to be changing types of pieces just because the pieces move around on the board. Um, piece has movement is consumed all these various places. Um, Western board consumes it. And I want to override that somehow without breaking everything. Um, so I don't need to change Capablanca random board. I don't need to change most of these. Uh, however, those that are in the inheritance hierarchy 
of my new board, which I think is just Western board, um, will need a way to override this concept of peace has movement. Either that or I will need to... Um, oh, I'm sorry. I don't need to override this at all. Um, I could just call generate hopping moves. Even if they um, said generation's illegal. Um, so, yeah, I was thinking a bit too narrowly there. You can generate hopping moves even if um, peace has movement. It doesn't have to be validated most of the time, right? Knight, Archbishop, and Chancellor attacks. Well, so this is where the problem lies, right? Yeah, so I do need to know if a piece has a given movement type. Uh, so I'm going to need an instance of the piece here. I don't need its type. I need the actual instance. So the type of a piece is piece. So I guess I'm going to end up changing westernboard.cp. I'm sorry, first going to westernboard.h. And I need to search for piece has movement. It's not defined there. It's defined in board.h. Um, right, so this is not great. <laughs> uh... Wait, it's a piece type. Where, what is the data type of piece? What is the data type of piece? Uh, is there, there is a piece.h. Please tell me this doesn't reduce to int. It does. All right, um, that's not great. Because then you can have upcasting and downcasting of pieces and piece types. Uh, so this is not going to be as easy as I thought. Because I need to differentiate between a piece and a piece type. Wait, no, a piece is an instance of a piece. So, yeah, this does not itself reduce to a piece type. Despite having some constants in here, this is much more. Um, so it's Western board that needs to make a determination about um, whether a piece itself has movement. Um, Okay, do I have any local changes here? Uh, let's add that, git commit, and then reset offer. So I'm not pleased about this, but I'm going to have to rename a method using only my shell. Um, How do you use said to replace text in a file? Again, said text replacement. So there is a standard pattern for this. Um, here's the standard syntax. No such thing as input.file. Now I get that. Um, so what uh, board.h. Now that's the version of this um, with word one replaced with word two. Um, but guess what? We know what our word one and word two are. 
we know that they are piece has movement and the word that we want to replace it with is piece type has movement. Um, so that's the trick. Um, so dollar i for i in star SPP do said this and this will dump out the contents to the terminal um, and I think I can cp comma h to say either of those so that uh, and then said in place status will show here are the files I just edited with the said script so said for each file in this directory that file matches this pattern do a text replacement in that file in place replacing the contents of the file and this is where git becomes useful because then I can say git diff just show me why I changed and there's all my changes um, so you could use an IDE to help automate this um, or you can become like a shell wizard uh, that looks things up in Google from time to time and you forget how they work um, get commit amend uh, reset offer get push f so again uh, and so even though I'm replacing the history of the files as I'm going through um, there's still a history kept behind by github of this is what I attempted to build at this time this is why I attempted to build at this time and so forth so it is auditable in github what I did um, so the reason I had to do that um, the reason I had to do that is because now I need a new method piece has movement um, and that doesn't have to be defined in board.h uh, I mean it might make sense to put it in board.h but And this will take a piece instead of a piece type. And that's the difference. Um, and you might ask what that's for. Um, return, um, let's see, piece type has movement, piece movement. Oh, okay, this is the header file. I was like, now I have to go to the header file and change the declaration. Um, no, I don't. Um, so I do need a forward declaration of what I just did here. sure what this backslash a is for um, but okay returns true if a piece can move like a movement I guess a is argument uh, if a okay yeah I'm going to put our initial comment back here if a piece type can move like a movement. Get status, uh, get add board.h. Now what I just wrote won't compile because almost certainly I did something wrong. Uh, how do I get the piece type out of the piece? Uh, I have to say piece dot type. Where is type declared here? Int type. 
Oh, returns the type of the piece. Okay, cool. So, probably the way for me to get the type out of the piece we just say piece dot type. So that's generally how that's going to work. Um, now, where things fall apart. Uh, are all the places I'm consuming this from where I want to change it to consume the other method. Um, boarded H, boarded H, boarded H. So actually, um, pieces.at. Mm, I'm not thrilled about that. Really not thrilled about that. So, first of all, how the heck did this work? Copa Blanca random board. Oh, I'm sorry, Copa random. SVP. Pieces dot at. Okay, so this does literally take an argument, calls it pieces, even though it's really piece types. Wow. Okay. Um, I suppose there are other methods in the same file that have, yeah, pieces. Oh, goodness. Does that pattern spill all over this file? Um... I'm not impressed, but I don't need to touch that file any further. Um, what I do need to touch is Western board that CPP. Um, so I need to go change all the piece types, or the ones of interest, or we're saying piece type. Um, Hmm, I'm also disappointed here. Um, all right, this is where I most needed to affect my change anyway, so there we go. That was the change I really needed to make. Um, Likewise here, and over here, and here, and here, yeah, that's fine. Um, let's see, I need to deal with if particular instances of a piece have certain movement capabilities, uh, then those instances um, need to have their checking powers announced and need to indicate who's in check or not. Um, now, that raises a further question. So I just touched Western board. Um, that h no that's cpp has move so i'm also going to need a concept of is a player in check um so where is the checking stuff determined returns true for in check yeah so this needs a further context um of not only can this piece move in that way, but it's trying to move in that way in order to generate a checking move. Um, so I went about this wrong in the first place because this this stuff for let's see is there more to it than this is legal position if piece side is equal to side to move 
and the piece has movement. Yes, I went about this wrong. That's cool. Um, yeah, what more can I do here now, I wonder? Oh, yeah, welcome to the Discord, by the way. That's cool. <sighs> Wait, does the piece have the square it's on? Um, trying to think this through. So, um, then board.h. So, although I came up with this thing, I don't like what I called it now. Because it's really a piece, a knight can move in a way. Um, but I'm talking about a piece having a capture ability. So, uh, piece has capture movement, I guess, would be the way we describe that. Um, Yes, let's change this again. Oh, yeah, I guess this works. Um, no, let's just go back into Vim. I'm more comfortable doing this particular hack in Vim. And though it's literally the same thing. Piece has movement. Piece has capture movement. So this replaced all four instances. Let's see. Um, yeah, board.h, western board.cp. Because there are actually some pieces in other variants that can move in a given way but cannot capture in a given way. So that's the difference. Um, So, uh, reset author, get push f, and I'm, yeah, by rewriting the history of what I'm doing with git where I'm saying I want to amend and amend and amend and amend and I keep rewriting my history, that's not considered a best practice, but um, in my case, I kind of want to keep my changes together because I can't undo one of them without undoing all the rest. So I declared this new method, piece has capture movement. I mean, yeah, I renamed piece has movement to piece type has movement. Um, I renamed, uh, yeah, I've created this new piece has capture movement which in general is always going to be the same. Um, uh, has cap. So this here, um, I want to have a declaration of that inside of a uh, knight relay board dot h. So yeah, we're going to inherit, uh, like we do with other methods. Oh, well, that's good fun, isn't it? Um, shit. <laughs> I didn't realize that was an inline method. Um, I don't know if I can override a method that has an inline declaration. I've never tried that in C++. That's exciting. 
Um, but okay. So we're going to declare that here. And it doesn't need the scope there because this is just a, um, yeah, we're declaring here and defining in the CPP file. So this is a declaration. Um, then I can go over to board.h, again, grab this, it's the yank five lines. And go over to night relay board.cpp. Here's where we got generate moves for piece. Um, let's see. It's up here. If um, if piece dot type is equal to night return plus and else we want to return um, standard board etc which I think is just defined up in board wait no I'm sorry my direct ancestor is standard board so that's how we do that. And this class is night relay board. Um, so there you go. Um, I guess I'll add the inline qualifier here. Uh, and likewise, I'll have to add it here. I don't know. I'm not really comfortable adding this qualifier here because I don't know what effect it's going to have. So let's just keep it simple. It's going to get in lined anyway. Um, but yeah, the knight cannot capture. Um, did I say that things can't be captured, or can I capture? Or yeah, yeah, I did say that here. Knights cannot capture or be captured. Pawns cannot be relayed to the first or last rank. Okay. Status, get add, knight relay board, star, status. Get amend, reset, author, get... I'm glad that I chose to like only try to implement uh, night relay chess because if you've seen what I did with stockfish, implementing the full relay chess rule set in this library is beyond my current capability. Um, you know, let's go back to actions. So my last thing didn't build for some reason. Can I peek at this and see what failed? Build cute chess failed because what? I don't even know. Const. No bool chessboard pieces capture movement. Declared in chessboard. In board.h. Um, interesting. Um, oh, did I need a forward declaration in a header file? Is that what's going on? Because the ordering in which I put these things, um, this other function hadn't been discovered yet. Is that what's going on? That doesn't make sense. Is this a free function? What's this a member of? These are all members of board inside of scope of um, whatever scope we're in, right? Yeah, namespace chess. So why was this not discovered? I don't know. 
Are there other references from one function to a different function in this file? No. <laughs> uh, does this fix it? It won't. But it might. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. That's more than obvious. Um, so the error was no bool this const member declared in chessboard. Hmm. <laughs> oh, is it just that my name, my method name, do, or function name does not match up? I mean, yeah, adding this scope is probably not a terrible idea, but um, yeah, this needs to be piece has capture movement here. Um, and did I call it the right thing inside of night relay board.h? Um, Virtual bool this. <laughs> virtual bool that. Yeah, okay, so that signature matches up. Inherited from standard board, which inherits from board. That's cool. Um, Board.h get commit command. I swear soon enough I'll have enough helper methods to find. Uh, that I won't have to rewrite my history. I can start building changes atop each other. Um, but right now, all my commits are out of order. Um, that is, I'm changing the ancestor classes, and I want to stop changing the ancestors like board and western board and things like that. I want to start implementing my own uh, new board. Um, I'm forced to bounce up and down a bit. Um, let's see. Vim. What do we have here? Um, night relay board dot cpp. So we've already validated that knights cannot be captured. And we've validated that knights cannot capture. Uh, pawns can promote to knights, and that's no big deal. So the only remaining rules have to do with relaying pieces via how other pieces move. Um, so uh, let's see. If piece type is not equal to ooh, knight, and we need to do some stuff. Otherwise, we're done. All right. Well, that was easy. Um, so, he says capture movement. It's legal move. Yeah, so, some cases we want to generate hopping moves. I guess knight's going to appear all over this file, so that's not so helpful. Um, but the general thing I'm going to start adding is this generate hopping moves, which is going to need some parameters if we really want it to work. Um, let's see. Array size. Yeah, I don't know what to do about the rest of this, so this example is not the best example to start from. Um, all right, so let's take a look at... Um, I don't know, which of these would be easiest? 
Western board, probably. So we were in this file earlier. Um, oh, we have the square already. I knew that. Um, okay. So we're going to pretend that just like every piece can move. Um, yeah, so we got the square. Bishop offsets is probably wrong. Um, yeah, there's knight offsets. This is way easier than I thought. Instead of using bishop offsets, let's use knight offsets. Problem solved. Um, so, there are some limitations. Um, that's for sure. Um, so, we're going to add a couple more things here. So we say if, first of all, if the piece type is equal to pawn and, um, well, no, I can't use that to filter out um, that you can't communicate pawns to the eighth rank. Um, we're going to have to filter that out through this other mechanism anyway. If the... Capturing a knight, return false. Um, what are the attributes of a move? Is there a movement type or something in here? Target square, promotion. Um, it's null. Oh, yeah. Here we go, using a combination of target square and promotion. Do we have the piece type, or do we have to go fetch that some other way? Because that's kind of annoying. I guess the, the move has the sourced square, but doesn't have the piece type. Um, okay. So if we're capturing a knight, that's not legal. If um, we need to figure out the piece type somehow, let's assert that we have it, which we don't. If uh, piece type is equal to pawn, then we're going to need some more validations here. If target is equal to eighth rank, uh, or target is equal to eighth rank, return false. So that's pseudocode for you. <laughs> that won't compile. Uh, we still don't have an IDE that automatically types what you mean. Um, it's going to take some work to get that going. but Okay, so there is a concept of a target square. Um, um, let's see. Int target rank is equal to move dot target square which it totally isn't but let's pretend it is do we have an eighth uh, somewhere do we have a number of ranks or so? okay well great do we have a definition of a rank yeah there's a zillion definitions of rank 
um, crap. Square dot h. Wait, but if I'm looking at move dot h, it returns the target square as an int, not as a square. Okay. So rep rank start at CPP. Do I have to construct a square out of an int? Do I have to box it in order to unbox it to get the rank? Probably. Um, yeah, so here's how you get the rank. So. Um, night relay board dot cpp. So we said we're going to have a rank. We're going to know what the rank is. And here instead of square, this is going to move dot target square. why we call it target rank. Rank is equal to first rank, and if it's equal to eighth rank, um, yeah, for now we're not going to allow pawns to go to the first or the eighth ranks. Um, is there a concept of how many ranks a board has? Rank eight. In grand board CPP rank eight. Okay. Um, oh my God. Well, that's not great. Um, Regardless, is height something that's defined uh, for all board types or just for grand board? Returns the height of the board in squares. Okay. So we access this all over the place. Rank one is equal to if side is equal to white two. Otherwise, it's height minus three. That really doesn't instill confidence. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, base rank is this is the concept of a base rank. So that's the number of ranks on a board is height minus one. Um, so if either of these is satisfied, that's implemented. Um, and here, if a piece type is not equal to knight, we're going to generate hopping moves. Um, and that generation of hopping moves needs to be fixed. Um, OK, 
Can those hopping moves themselves be captures? Like a knight cannot capture. Uh, yeah, no, the example shows that this pawn can hop and capture the pawn on f4. Um, so that's cool. I'm sorry, could capture the pawn on g7. Or they have an example here. Here, let me turn off my super special theme. Dark Wikipedia is gone. It doesn't establish whether or not the pawn can capture via relay. Since it's defended, it can move to all those squares. It cannot relay to the ranks. It's not able to, yeah, the knight cannot capture. The queen cannot take the knight. Uh, queen to d6 is checkmate because why? Well, because, yeah, the queen, so if you played queen d6, the knight relays its powers through the queen and therefore the queen can threaten to capture on c8 or e8 so that's what's going on there all right so my project built spiffy um is there anything else to consider here pawns and pieces can be relayed and they can capture in said relaying Oh, en passant is illegal, right? There is no en passant in Knight Relay Chess. Okay. Um, let's see. <sighs> Int en passant square. I guess that wasn't really meant to be overridden, but I'm going to be overriding it anyway. And Western board .cp. Off salt square. Oh, capture type. Well, that's spiffy, isn't it? Um. So, let's see if the target is equal to the, yes, yeah, so this doesn't use the method en passant square to access the en passant square. So this means that I'm going to need a way to regulate whether en passant is legal. Even though my opinion, like why would you disable en passant for this variant? But Apparently that's the rules, so um, let's see. I mean, I could even override, yeah, here I do, I just override the setter method and just never set anything. That would do it. I could have a flag in here that says you can't ever set an en passant square, but why would I do that? Um, well, because overriding this method's kind of a hack. Um, yeah, no, set overriding the method to do the opposite of what it says it's going to do is definitely a hack. Uh, so how many places do we set this? Oh, it has en passant captures. Um, I didn't know we had a flag to override that. Uh, allowed only for variants without castling and en passant captures. So, okay, cool. Um, So 
I guess I do need an, init an initializer list inside of, of my class definition, uh, even though it has only a single member. Um, so, okay, and the initializer says call the constructor, comma, do all these other things. Um, so mine is still going to call the super constructor standard board. Standard board itself doesn't take parameters, um, right? Standard board dot h, like, it has no parameterized constructor. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, and then reset author. Oh, hang on. And while it was great that I just did that, I wasn't, I was kind of asleep at the wheel. Um, let me find examples of where that is. What? What? Why? I'm so confused. How did they do this elsewhere? Why would they not use the same technique I'm using this instant? I guess this is the first variant where we don't have Ampasant captures, and yet there's still a flag that says whether or not Ampasant is a valid thing. Um, regardless, um, that's a lot of foresight. Usually you don't develop that sort of sophisticated framework until you need it. Or just usually you don't develop it. But okay. So they have a flag for disabling Ampassant captures. Even though Ampassant captures are enabled in all variants by default. Okay. That's cool. I guess. We'll see if the flag even works. No doubt there's no test for it. <laughs> Um, I guess they just figured they have all these other flags. Why not have a flag for that? Because there will probably be some variant that doesn't have that rule. But my goodness, that's... I was going to have to go write all that and figure it all out, but it's there. So, all right, we'll let that cook. Um, um, let's see, what else have I forgotten? Night Relay Board, CPP... Um, so we've disabled on passant captures. Um, we forgot to say that on passant is not a thing. Uh, pawns cannot on passant in or be relayed to the first or last ranks. Uh, I don't like how I wrote that. I like that better. Ever so slightly. And not en passant. Nor can they be... Eh. Aye, aye, aye. That's fine. People will get the gist of it, especially if they read the rules elsewhere. That's just a summary. Um, so, again, let's push that up to the cloud. This didn't build because what? Probably because my technique didn't make any sense whatsoever. But, um, 
if piece type is equal to pawn. Oh, capital pawn is not how you spell pawn. Uh, where did I spell it that way? Stockfish spells it that way. In this library, it's just capital P pawn. Uh, add this. Get push force. There we go. And back up to actions. Um, let's see, this is pushed 42 seconds ago. Pushed now. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, get status. Um, is there anything else I forgot here? So, yeah. Uh, at some point, I'll have to look at the how the promotion mechanism works. And um, so we do still need to generate hopping moves for pawns, regardless what rank they're on. They can't just, the only problem is they can't hop to the final rank. So I might need to override the definition of generate hopping moves or something. I don't know. I don't know if in other variants pawns can hop to the final rank and if they do that automatically produces a promotion or not um but we'll take a look at that all that offline um so we've been going for about three hours and i am gonna go host our cooking friend who's been playing the uh cook serve delicious uh like every day and they're pretty awesome so uh, with that, I will thank you for joining me, and we'll hand it on over. Um, yeah, expect this variant to get added sometime within a week or two. I'll probably figure it out today or tomorrow, but, you know, um, I've taken this about as far as I can figure it out how to do in a short span of time. Um, so I don't really feel like taking this a lot farther. Um, it occurs to me that I kind of fucked up here. Yeah, you can see my attention has been split so many different ways. Um, so this is not what I intended to do. Let's generate moves for peace. I was going to turn it on over. We will do that momentarily, but let me fix one last thing. Um, if movement is equal to ASDF, uh, and what, then some other condition is met, um, return true. So yeah, if we are, uh, attacked or defended by friendly knight, Um, so that's where this needs to go. Let's generate hopping moves is nonsense. As well as that, as well as this. Um, likewise, I want to go back over to this header file where I said I was going to generate moves for pieces. Ah, we're not doing that. We're going to use this other mechanism, which is can the piece move that way? Um, oh, but that's piece has capture movement. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to separately define a thing uh, piece has movement. Um, figure that out too. Um, Regardless, we'll figure out all those details. I didn't want to use the generate um, movement method here. Let's see. See, so, yeah, that's the sort of thing that I still want to work on. Uh, it's coming up with a clean abstraction here, so don't have to write something that I'm going to regret later. Um, so, 
That's the plan. Um, and if this ends up being unwieldy, like looking at Western board and looking at board, I might go back to how things um, are, how I push them into GitHub. I might go back to the technique that we just saw. But um, yeah, I think this is probably the a cleaner approach that I'll settle on. Um, so, and that'll delegate back up to the ancestor, which takes a piece and a movement type. Um, and this will do something about what square I'm on and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, does like the piece have the square that it's on? Uh, sorry, I keep bouncing back and forth between continuing and not continuing. Um, Side side, int type, set side, set type. This doesn't have the square that it's located on. I think that's why it settled on doing it the other way. It's because this data structure um, doesn't have a way of indicating what square the piece is on. Um, reserve piece types, piece at square. Uh, reserve count, piece symbol, uh, grep, piece board.h. That's a lot of output. How about this way? Yeah, if there's a way to determine the square from a piece, um, there's not, because like piece is non identifying. It doesn't have a unique identifier, so you can't identify what square it's on. We'll figure it all out. Um, yeah, no need to rush everything today. Developing software is hard. Um, impressively, I didn't have to go build this whole CI pipeline thing to compile stuff every time the changes are pushed. Thankfully, that was already in place. I was assuming that was going to be the greatest focus of today's stream. Instead, I was able to actually make headway against this. But the headway I was able to make was offset by the fact that this the rules of this variant are really difficult so that's the state of things no need to rush it all today all right so yeah thanks for watching and uh we'll see you next time